Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're going to talk about digital raindrops, how to create them. You are going to love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This will work fine in Photoshop Elements 10 and Photoshop Elements 12. These are the images we're working on. And the first thing we'll do is let's go to the Layers panel and we're going to create a new layer by clicking on this button right here. Alright, there's my new layer. Now we're going to go to the Toolbar and select the Elliptical Marquee Tool. Can you say Elliptical Marquee Tool three times fast? Now I'm drawing a circle and holding the shift key on my keyboard so it's a perfect circle. Now look at this curved arrows here. You can click on those to change the colors. If you don't have black and white, click here for the default colors. Okay, again, we want the black color to be on top. Now I'm going to select the gradient tool. Now down here we're going to select edit. Photoshop Elements 10, your edit button is at the top. And we're going to select the first preset gradient and I'm going to select OK. Alright, now look up here. We're looking at the way the light goes. It goes from left to right so I'm going to left click, hold and drag my straight line so my gradient is kind of in the same direction as the light. Alright, I just hit Control D on my keyboard or Command D to get rid of the selection. Now I'm going to change the nor go from normal to overlay and look at that it's gonna get more realistic though let's go to layer and layer style and style settings and I'm gonna put a drop shadow on here and the size will change that to about nine the distance about six but I'm gonna bring the opacity which is the transparency way down to like 31 because 31 is my favorite number all right, I'm going to select OK, and now I'm going to switch the colors. Uh, I want white on top because I'm going to use the brush tool, and I want I want to have a white color. All right, there's the brush tool, and now I'm just going to left click and release a little white dab on my raindrop. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now make sure your raindrop layer selected. I'm going to select duplicate layer. And I just clicked OK. We're going to do this a couple more times. Alright, now I'm going to select the Move tool. And I'm just moving my other raindrops. And let's uh, make this a little smaller. You know, your raindrops really need to be different sizes for it to be a little bit more realistic. Now I just left click, hold, and drag a raindrop over to the leaf. Make this a little bit smaller and click on the green check mark. Alright, now I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, and Liquify. Here's where the raindrop's really going to look really cool. Now I'm going to click on the magnifying glass so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to select the Warp tool. Now I like my brush to be a little bit larger, so let's go ahead and change the brush size to about uh, 25. That's good. Now I'm just going to left click, hold, and drag. I just released and now I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging again. Perfect! Now I'm going to click on OK. Now look at how a raindrop looks. That looks so cool! Alright. I'm going to move this over here, and I'm going to left click, hold, and drag another raindrop over to the leaf. Wow, that's too big! So we're going to make that smaller. Alright. Now I'm going to left click, hold, and drag this raindrop over to the, the stomach. And I'm going to get rid of some of these and make some of the others smaller so they look a little bit more real. I'm just going to move this one down here. And there you go. D 
digital raindrops. They are so awesome. Thank you for watching so much from Info Puppet.